Hi guys, in this video you're going to learn on how to add a counter on LAN Studio. So the main idea of counter is to actually allow you to create games that are very famous on Snapchat. So let's get right into it. So for the first part is that we got to actually do some scripting over here but it's not too heavy. So let's go to LAN Studio's website. So I'm going to just go to LAN Studio over here and you can see under LAN Studio's uh, guide which you can actually just go to under learn guide and then if you search for behavior you will see this behavior script document that allows you to actually understand how behavior script works. So basically behavior script is something that allows you to actually add a trigger such as raise eyebrows, mouth open or even tapping on the screen and then adding a response to it for each of those triggers. So that's basically what we're going to use. But one of those responses type is called custom trigger, which is this. So custom trigger allows you to actually send a custom trigger to another script, meaning basically you want to run a function on another script. So custom trigger allows you to actually trigger those scripts. So that's exactly what we're going to use. So I'll just go scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page. So you will be able to see this small snippet. So just copy this. Okay, now go back to Lens Studio. Now we got to add this script. Okay, so what we're going to do is that first, since we already copied it, the first thing that we got to do is that we need to add a text. So let's go to object panel here, plus, look for text. I'm going to add a text object not screen text because I want to add this text and attach it to the head okay so that's what I'm going to do so I'll just change it to zero and then maybe I have an outline and then up to 60 okay now I'm going to pass head binding okay so just drag and drop it and the head binding so it's attached to the nose here but I want it to be at the head so let me just put it to the head okay maybe the size can be even bigger okay so 100 looks good so let me rename this as the counter so this will be the counter all right now what we got to do next is basically since we already copied uh, a script, right? A snippet from the behavior script documentation. So we can just add the script here. So how do we do that? Go to resource panel, plus, look for a script, okay, double click on it. And then you'll be able to see the script editor here. So you can see the scene panel and script editor. So go to script editor and paste it, okay? So this is how you paste the script okay so I'm gonna just like let you know how this works so basically there are two types of behavior system over here you can see remove custom trigger and add custom trigger response so we are not going to use the remove custom trigger so I can just delete this so I'm gonna do the same thing okay now so this is how it works if you look at this part here under the global behavior system add custom trigger response this is basically the custom trigger this is the, the, the text that you're going to add under the behavior script while this is going to be the function so how this is going to be related whenever the script detects this text it allows it will run this function okay so that's basically how it works so you can see the function on trigger is going to be triggered every time the my trigger is sent by the behavior script okay so let's try it so i'm going to print this function is going to just print a text or random text let's just say create lens okay so and i'm going to save it and then let's rename this to counter so that we know that this is a counter script okay so what you're gonna do is that we're gonna add a behavior script okay go to object panel plus 
behavior and the helper script behavior script yeah so you can see this is the behavior okay I'm not going to change the trigger part let's just set the touch target to none because if you add you need to put a text I mean we need to put an image or maybe like uh, 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 an object if you put none that go that's going to be the whole screen so if you tap any part of the screen it's going to detect okay the response type we're going to look for same custom trigger I change the trigger name basically going to add the trigger name here to my underscore trigger okay now add component script we're going to add another script add script it's going to be counter now if you look at this logger over here let me just re clear refresh okay when i tap you can see create lenses is being printed out like that nice so you can see right so the script is working so our next step is basically adding the counter function so how do we add the counter function so first thing is that we need to make sure that we add an input an input is basically this text being added to the script so to do that just add an input So if you're using uh, Lens Studio script editor, it will automatically let you know the uh, what it call. It will help you to actually do the whole scripting. Okay. So basically, if I'm gonna put this component, so there will be like plenty of components here. I can just choose one of it, and it will also be able to like tell you what is this going to be used for. But I mean, the, each component is going to be used for, so it will help you. And if you click on it, it will go to the documentation on Lens Studio script. So that's cool. So that's something that you want to explore. So I'm gonna look for component of text and then I'm gonna call it current score number okay let's just do that okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is basically add a variable so variable current score equals to zero okay so basically I'm gonna add a score current score and that's gonna be starting from zero okay now under the function on trigger what's going to happen is that I'm not going to use this frame so I'll just delete this so first I'm gonna add the current score every time that it is being triggered so this is basically just adding a plus plus so that the current score keeps on adding so that's the first part the second part under the function is basically adding this current score to this current score number so how to do that so script dot current score number dot text equals to current score dot two string So basically you just added this current to current score to the string and which string is going to be it's basically the current score number this text okay and that's it okay so we're gonna just save this okay and then we go to behavior so now you can see you gotta add it has automatically updated over here so you just need to add the text click on this and the camera effects with binding text so let me refresh right there you can see the counter is working so that's cool but what if we can make it even cooler maybe we want to make sure that we trigger this counter based on the what you call other interactive uh, way maybe raising eyebrows or opening mouth so for that just go to trigger over here face event maybe you want to look for browse raised so obviously there's nothing over here because the previous idle person gotta change it to raise eyebrows so that's one and let's wait for the second one yeah so yeah so that's exactly how you can actually add a counter in lens studio in the next video i'm going to teach you on how to actually use this function to create a very simple game on snapchat that allows you to actually play and perhaps add some interactivity in it that allow uh, that engages you when you're playing so 
I'll see you in the next video.